Hi everyone. Today I purchased a, a cheap and cheerful underlever Springer rifle. This is now my SMK XS36. And I'm going to have a go at shooting with the open sights or the iron sights as they were known in my day. Being an Iron Age kind of person. I'm going to have a, a shot at this target. I just hope that the rifle is not as far off as it could be. I have never shot this rifle, I've only just purchased it. But we'll have a go at shooting this target. Just lock this camera in place here. Come back. Zoom out a little bit. I have no idea what this rifle is going to do. So it's a bit dull. It's been brighter days. Have a look. I've not shot iron sights for a long time. I'm desperate to have a go with this new toy. As you can hear, it's somewhat rather windy again. This is going to be the first ever shot of my new rifle. So, cut it in. Using the iron sights. This rifle has a, an anti-bear trap trigger on it. So once you've cocked it, you then have to hold a lever down at the back of the rifle. Now then, I haven't got a clue what's going to happen here, but here goes the very first shot at that 10 metre target. Difficult to see, I really ought to put my glasses on. I need to flick the safety off. It has automatic safety, which is a little bit of a pain in the bum. Here's the first shot. Just going to see where that went. I can't see from where I'm shooting, so I'm going to have to keep going up and down the garden to see where the pellet went. Oh, and that isn't too bad. That is the very first shot through an SMK XS36 with no adjustments whatsoever. I'll just move the, uh, the ranges a little bit to the left. Possible. We'll try a second shot. Quite happy with that for the first shot. I do quite like the anti bear trap setting. Shot number two. Oh, safety off. <laughs> I'm not used to automatic safety. Let's see where that one went. That's not too bad, that's pulled it in quite nicely to the, uh, the left. Pretty much above the, the bullseye. Not quite worked out yet how to read this dial. In fact, I need to go and get my glasses so I can read the stamp on the dial to see which is up and down. Just a moment. Let's have another look. Yeah. Well, it just gives you digits, so I'm not certain which way I'm going to have to go, so we'll just turn it to see what happens. I'll give it three clicks.
It's the times like this I wish I've got a spotting scope so I could see what I was hitting. Shot number three. Ah! Automatic safety again. Catches me out every time. Shot number three. down a little bit but not enough. We'll give it a little bit more. Just try to bring it down a little bit Try shot number four. This time I remember to take the safety off. Shot number four. Let's have a look where that went. So I'm turning the dial in the wrong direction. You need to turn the dial in the opposite direction, so we'll take you back down again. A few clicks. Ah, automatic safety again. Absolutely amazed at that. I think I'll go and get a beer out of the fridge for that one. I don't think anyone could complain that that is a pretty good shot. Anyway, Mrs. Tin Cam wants to have a go at it, so what I'll go and do is find a, something for her to shoot at so we can see it hitting it. Oh. <laughs> That was unbelievable. 